The Microsoft Foundation Class Library is a library that wraps portions of the Windows API and C++ classes, including functionality that enables them to use a default application framework. Classes are defined for many of the handle-managed Windows objects and also for predefined Windows and common controls. History MFC was introduced in 1992 with Microsoft's CC++ 7.0 compiler for use with 16-bit versions of Windows as an extremely thin object-oriented C++ wrapper for the Windows API. C++ was just beginning to replace C for development of commercial application software at the time. In an MFC program, direct Windows API calls are rarely needed. Instead, Programs create objects from Microsoft Foundation class classes and call member functions belonging to those objects. Many of those functions share their names with corresponding API functions. One interesting quirk of MFC is the use of A as the prefix for many functions, macros and the standard pre-compiled header name stdafxh. During early development what became MFC was called Application Framework Extensions, and abbreviated A. The name Microsoft Foundation Classes was adopted too late in the release cycle to change these references. MFC 8.0 was released with Visual Studio 2005. MFC 9.0 was released with Visual Studio 2008. MFC is not included in the free edition of Visual C++ Express but is included in the commercial versions of Visual C++ 2010 and later. The Object Windows Library designed for use with Borland's Turbo C++ compiler, was a competing product introduced by Borland around the same time. Eventually, Borland discontinued OWL development and licensed the distribution of the MFC headers, libraries and ELLs from Microsoft for a short time, though it never offered fully integrated support for MFC. Borland later released VCL to replace the OWL framework. Microsoft's emphasis on MFC has been reduced in favor of its .NET framework. MFC 7, 8 and 9 bridge elements of MFC with the .NET framework to aid developers in migrating to the new framework. The MSVC++ compiler backend can emit managed and native object file, s. The linker can then build them together, generating mixed applications, allowing existing native applications to use managed extensions in a seamless manner. Though Microsoft has de-emphasized MFC, it remains a widely used framework. A lightweight alternative to MFC is the Windows Template Library. C++ Express version compiles WTL applications, but does not include the IDE support of the standard, professional and team editions. Features At the time of its introduction, MFC provided C++ macros for Windows message handling, exceptions, runtime type identification, serialization and dynamic class instantiation. The macros for message handling aimed to reduce memory consumption by avoiding gratuitous virtual table use and also to provide a more concrete structure for various visual C++ applied tools to edit and manipulate code without parsing the full language. The message handling macros replace the virtual function mechanism provided by C++. The macros for serialization, exceptions, and RTTI predated availability of these features in Microsoft C++ by a number of years. 32-bit versions of MFC, for Windows NT 3.1 and later Windows operating systems, used compilers that implemented the language features and updated the macros to simply wrap the language features instead of providing customized implementations, realizing upward compatibility. Visual C++ 2008 Feature Pack On April 7, 2008, Microsoft released an update to the MFC classes as an out-of-band update to Visual Studio 2008 and MFC 9. The update features new user interface constructs, including the ribbons and associated UI widgets, fully customizable toolbars, docking panes which can either be freely floated or docked to any side and document tabs. The MFC Ribbon Resource Editor allows the developer to design the ribbon graphically instead of having to use the XML-based declarative markup like the Ribbon X API in Microsoft Office 2007. Optionally, ribbon components may be programmed directly by calling a new set of ribbon class methods. 
the developer may mix graphical and programmatic ribbon development as is convenient. The MFC application wizard has also been upgraded to support the new features a Euro including a checkbox to select whether the application will use the ribbon or the Visual Studio 2005 user interface elements. The new functionality is provided in new classes so that old applications still continue to run. This update is building on top of Xofta Euro unregistered trademark ESP control bar library professional edition. MFC can be used by linking a static library or by adding the MFC DLL. Microsoft has also imposed additional licensing requirements on users of the ribbons. These include a requirement to adhere to Microsoft UI design guidelines, and a prohibition against using such a UI in applications which compete with Microsoft Office applications. Versions, see also, Active Template Library, Qt, Standard Template Library. Windows Template Library, References Further reading, Process, Jeff. Programming Windows with MFC. Microsoft Press. ISBN A9781572316539. Shepard, George. MFC Internals. Addison Wesley. ISBN A9780201407272. Kroglinski, David. Inside Visual C. Microsoft Press. ISBN A9781572315539. Microsoft. Microsoft Visual C programming with MFC. Microsoft Press. ISBN A9781556159. External links MSDN MFC Reference, MSDN MFC Newsgroup, MFC, Visual Studio 2005 and beyond, an inside look at the next generation of Visual C.